Alright guys, welcome back. WRX Garage. We have a fantastic video for you guys today. I am doing the thing that I've wanted to do since I got this car. We are going to be completely revamping the headlights. So we're going to be blacking them out, C lights, um, high and low LEDs. And also, we're also going to try to slim the C lights. So we're going to actually try to black out this part here that it's, you can see that it's diffused. And we're going to try to tape that off and make it the like slim. Um, and then we're also going to do the C lights are going to be DRLs and then obviously switch back. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. All right, guys. So we're going to start. It's so nice and easy. Moving the bumper here. We've got a couple clips, a couple bolts, and we should be good. All right guys, now that you have your headlights exposed, I believe it's just two bolts on the top here. One here, one here on each side. Um, you can take that with a uh, screwdriver or even a uh, the 10 millimeter bolt, or a 10 millimeter socket. All right guys, so you do have to remove this plastic shroud on the outside. You're doing that now. Goodbye, Chrome. Did you get the uh... Okay. Good line number two. All right. So we got the headlights removed, guys. Next thing we're gonna be doing is just taking off all this bracketing, taking out the plugs and the uh, the bulbs and those uh, harnesses for those. So uh, we just got a couple small little screws. You can see that, but we're removing that right there. Nice. Okay, bring it over. We're missing a 10 millimeter, but so on this wiring harness we have our uh, side marker LED, I believe, and then this is going to be the replacement for the, the little sea light bulb. This is what they have from stock. It's just a little halogen thing. Uh, one of these is the low beam, and one of these is the high beam. And all this is connected via the uh, the main harness here. Now's the uh, probably the hardest part is to heat it up. So once you take all the all these screws, the only thing that's left is these clips on the uh, bottom. But you gotta heat it up to uh, get all this glue loosened. So we're gonna try with a heat gun. I don't really want to throw it into the oven. If I have to, I will. But uh, we're gonna try with a heat gun first and see what happens. And worst case, we'll just uh, bake it a little. So we're gonna try the oven, guys. Um very difficult right now. It's windy. Everything's getting cooled pretty instantly because of the wind. So uh, we're gonna try the oven, and then uh, we'll get back to you guys. So this is nice and warm. Might be able to just go for it now.
in there. Is there one more clip down there that's still in? Um, no, it's just the glue. All right. Wow, there's a lot of that in. Okay. Well, let's take all this glue off now. Dude, that came out really easily. It's not as hard as people think. You just really got to go slow. When videos say that you got to go slow, just trust them. So we just put it in the oven for like 180 and left it in for just five minutes just to give us a little bit of heat. Why don't you just keep kind of heat this stuff up a little bit, especially on this end? It's really cool. process with the second one and uh, once we're done with both and everything's all set we're gonna start diving into what actually to do what we're gonna be spraying what's being removed and extra uh, etc so we got everything separated pulled out of the projector um, we did a little trial run on the first one so we know what we're doing and show you guys exactly what we did so um, slides over here okay. these three screws you got to take out When we're separating the three pieces, we have the side marker and the sea light uh, diffuser. The side marker is nice and easy. Just pop one of them out, push it through. Main thing here, guys, is to make sure we're not breaking any of these clips. So on the sea light, we have these. We got to press together these two, and then we got to make sure that all these little pieces here do not snap. Otherwise, everything's going to be rattling when we're driving. So we are, this is a two man job for sure. Um, if yeah, you definitely. if you don't have two people, it's gonna be a lot more difficult. You can probably do it with one person, but definitely having two sets of hands, some of these spots to make sure things don't snap and you know, everything's moving at the same time, it's gonna make things a lot easier. Yeah, so when you got two people, one person can push in these little clips, because there's you can tell they're just, they're still chinsy, so. So you could, one could push these in and then kind of pull it out. Okay. okay. So, one thing we wanted to show you guys is that we see a lot of time is people will pull these out and they'll black out parts of this. Um, that's fine if you're going to be working on the actual um, high the beam. actual high beam reflector here. But when you have this on top, everything is already blacked out and covered. So everything you're going to be blacking out is this. So um, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start masking this off to show you guys which spots we are gonna be blacking out, uh, spray painting, and what switch spots we aren't. Um, one thing we don't don't want to black out is the actual piece here inside behind the sea light because that is a reflector and it helps you know reflect some of that light from the sea light to make it a little brighter. So that, um, and then there's a and then right behind there where the sea light goes, um, I'm gonna taping that off. But everything else essentially will be blacked out. So we're going to start uh, taping that up. We might do a little time lapse here. Cool. I guess so we're starting the taping process here. Um, what Kyle's doing right now is using fine line tape and the uh, we're going to be essentially taping off this clear piece here that matches the actual shape of the sea light really well. Um, and then all this smoky weird stuff on the outside that's going to be painted black. Um, so we're going to have a thinner more recognizable sea light, more distinguished. So, um, on the actual headlights themselves, same thing. The reflector around that sea light, so we just want that accented. We're gonna be taping that off. Everything else is gonna be black. So we're deciding to leave all of this piece 
non-painted just so we have the entire sea and then we're just gonna be painting all of this on the outside of the blue line all right so to remove some of this chrome we're gonna for painting because it's just harder to put paint onto actual chrome we could sand it but we're gonna try this uh, oven cleaner uh, we've we're gonna try this oven cleaner. Let's see if I can say that without stuttering. Um, a lot of the forms, yeah. that's what everyone's doing. Instead of even painting it, you spray it just on there. Take it, yeah. You can even spray, probably spray the towel so it's probably less of a mess. Cool. Right? I don't think we even have to paint it. Well, I'm gonna do a coat of paint that way it's, you know, and clear coat. That. But this makes it a lot so easier. So, right here, yeah, you, you just let it sit on there for a while, for like a 30 seconds or something. but. No, the problem is... Don't get it on your skin because it's stinging. And I don't know why. So just just, just so you guys know, um, I got it on my leg a little bit. And uh, not feeling the greatest. If this is the last video you see Kevin in, you know what? <laughs> Paint time. Using Fireline Fusion All-in-One. So we're going to paint the reflectors and we're going to paint the sea light. So we're just going to paint this here all the way down. Hopefully it comes out good. If not, get some paint remover and we'll go back to the <laughs> We'll come back when we're ready for the next coat. All right, round two. Final coat, I'm gonna do with just this Krylon Clear. Uh, I don't want the paint to, you know, the sun to fade the paint, so I'm gonna do just maybe one, maybe two light coats of just a little bit of clear on top. Got everything nice and painted. Kyle is an amazing spray painter. He, I don't know how he does it, but he does an amazing job. Um, we're gonna be reinstalling everything back in. I'm gonna start with the uh, nice and simple side marker here. Just tuck those in. Just a little press in on the back. Right there, pops right in. Nice and simple. And then, now we're gonna be putting that sea light in there. Diodynamics, this looks super pretty. We're in.
That wasn't recording. Cool. <laughs> All right, guys, so the uh, headlight cover is back on. Uh, it's a little dirty. We'll, we'll clean this up eventually, but um, everything went out nice and smooth. Um, heat, heat, heat. The, uh, the, the rubber butyl that you're putting back in there is pretty, pretty strong stuff. So you're gonna have to heat the crap out of it. Use the screws to help push it back and pull it back in place uh, once you get it close enough. Make sure that all these individual little clips are back in place. So yeah, cool. We'll get that into the car and uh, show you guys how it looks. We are putting in the Cougar motor. Focus, thank you. Um, LED bulbs. So based on bulb facts, Com. They have the highest rating for the price. Um, they're a really good LED. They're made for specifically for projector style headlights. Uh, we are using them for the he the high beams as well, which are you know reflector style instead of projector. But you know who uses their headlights very often, anyways. The other reason we uh, chose these is because the color temperature is very, very, very similar. It's like five, uh, six thousand and. 10 and, and then yeah, the 6, 000, so. diode dynamics is measured at 6,000. So, um, yeah, so let's get those installed. So it should all be a white light compared to a blue light. Pretty simple. Make sure that you go on clip side to the clip side. And that's done. And we're doing the, uh, that's the, the other H11. one here. And here are your H11s. Same thing, make sure you're going little tab side. You want to go tip top. to tip. And we're Gucci. Okay, so that's good. Now we have to battle some of the, the wiring for this uh, diode dynamic sea light. So basically, if you want to grab one of those driver boxes, we have two things to do here. One, nice and simple, we're going into the back. Is there a little driver box? So connected that, just a four pin, sorry, three pin connector. And then into the driver box, because this is the switchback. Um, the red is the signal wire for the DRL. The yellow is the switchback wire. And then we have power and ground. Uh, yellow is going to be going to tapped onto the, the brakes, uh, the turn signal. Um, so that will flash and then the red is going straight into our DRL harness, which is going right into the DRLs. So um, we're gonna be working on that. Um, these two will be tapped right into the stock C-Light harness, which is like these two right here. Can you guys see that? Yep. So we're gonna be putting the, the little uh, add a taps, or essentially the taps, and then plugging those onto there, so. Just a quick mock-up. Everything is in place and hooked up, and we have tested everything. We'll be showing you guys the after uh, once it gets a little dark, but um, essentially we wanted to go run through the wiring. It was a long, complicated process and um, a little more complicated than it should have been. Um, I think that there are um, there are some other complications because we are going to be running um, fog lights and a DRL bezel kit later on, so we wanted to make sure that everything is going to be in spec for that. So first off, we have the uh, the new Cougar uh, H11s and the 9005, so the low beam, high beams, those are all set. Diode dynamics are going to be tapped into the back of the stock C light. So just like the instructions said, we had the um, we had the uh, white and the the black wires going to the red and the black wires coming out of that stock little uh, bezel. Um, and you can probably see. Let me get the flashlight. Day. So this one here, this guy here is the, the stock sea light plug. So we have two taps going in from there. Um, and then we also had our uh, DRL plug and play kit, which is coming off right from here. That was from Diode Dynamics. Thank you guys. Um, so we have that going up into the, the tap. 
or the directly plugged into the back of the, uh, the C light there. And then we had to get for our switchbacks for the yellow wire, we had to get signal from our turn signal bulb right here. So we did, uh, if you guys can see that wired a butt to butt connector up to the tap. So it's connected up in there. So that's four. So we had power ground, yellow signal wire for the turn signal. And then the, lastly, the DRL function connected directly into the, uh, the stock DRL right in here. So cool. We're going to button everything up and then get back to you guys. Once we are completely done, we can show you the final product. Massive, massive improvement over the halogen, stock halogens. Um, see, high if you beams? have that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know how bad it is. And this is high beam. Now these bulbs are only $35 for the set on Amazon, one day shipping with Prime. So far, I mean, I hope that they last a long time, but for the price, these are great. And then we could see um, just the sea light. A bit too dark for the camera to pick it up right now, unfortunately, but we got the switchback functionality matched to the stock turn bulbs. Yeah, came out great. I'm happy with it. Came out awesome. You want to show the uh, interiors? Yes, and we also did the uh, interior bulbs. We'll so have to sorry, show your face anyways. <laughs> did the vanity ones? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we did these, which are great. I mean, you could see everything and then obviously the door one but really my favorite one so far it is the trunk one I mean you can see everything it's a lot brighter than mine yeah cool definitely gonna have to get that for your car still gotta get these changed out yeah um, we gotta do LEDs and the tail lights um, but next for us is I got the super speed uh, JDM S4 switchback fog light bezel, and I got the KISS, K-I-S-S, whatever, um, fog light kit. i uh, just waiting on one more part, and then we could do that. So, I have the base, I don't have fog lights. To add fog lights is like $300 for the kit. The KISS kit is like, I don't know, it's like 80 bucks right now. So, it doesn't come with the switch. You don't need to run any wires through the firewall. It uses a relay. It connects into with the low beam. So, when your low beams are on, your fog lights are on, which is what basically everybody, 99% of the people do that anyways. There's really no way that you would run just your fog. So, uh, we're gonna get that in, and I also got LED fog light bulbs to get that in. I'm also thinking about deleting the turn signal. Um, so I might need to get the hyper flash relay if it does blink. Um, so yeah, so far so good. I'm really happy with the slim C light. On the, uh, the next video, we'll give you guys like a more in-depth, we wanna do a video comparison of the diode dynamics lights to the Morimoto because Kevin has the Morimoto ones so we will do that so we can get a good comparison to see what they look like in the day and then obviously at nighttime but we'll show you a little bit more in depth with the uh, the slim sea light because I think it looks really really good especially from the side but Again, um, you guys can't see it but we'll, we'll yeah. put a video in here Kyle's gonna send me a video during the day of what that actually looks like without any of the lights on just so you yeah. can see it or, or with the light on we'll see but cool um, but so, thank you guys so much for watching um, when you're done watching this video, go make a comment on the 500 subscriber video. Subscribe so you can be entered to win uh, one of the, I think we did five, was it five? One of the five prizes. Um, we're getting pretty close actually. We're only like 150 away, so that, that should go pretty quick. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, be sure to check out um, more videos we got. Obviously we have the fog light puzzles coming. We got more lighting stuff um, also coming up radio i want to do the uh Sikane, uh android head unit speakers possibly a subwoofer but i might wait and do that later 
Um, so that's all coming. Kevin's got a lot of uh, stuff coming up. Oh yeah. He's going power. I'm going more cosmetic-y stuff for now. We'll and see. then, uh, you know, we got a lot of stuff coming this year. Cool. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, take care. Peace.